What's good, everybody? Evan here for Grips.com, continuing on my World Series of Poker review series. This one is going to be a little different. This is a bit more of a reflective video that was uh, spurred by some experiences that I had this summer. Um, so this one is all about self-worth and purpose. Uh, the importance of both, how to find them, um, yeah. So, as you guys know, I was I was living with some real superstars this summer, and at, at some point, you know, I, I played the comparison game, where I was like, man, these guys are killing it, these guys' results are so good, man, I don't have the same results as them, I'm, I'm, I must just not be that good. And it's it's a really easy trap to fall into, it's... I think it's a natural human tendency to compare ourselves with the other people and things that are around us, um, but it's a dangerous one to fall into. Uh, and I don't know if the proper terms like the comparison bias. There's some psychological thing, which I'm sure someone will say in the comments. But um, you know, on one hand, we want to surround ourselves with people who uplift us, but if we play, you know, that comparison game that I was talking about. We will feel worse about ourselves because we aren't on their level in said domain, necessarily. Um, but when, you, when I look at it the right way, I realize that, that I'm with them because they're great at what they do, and I'm great at what I do, and we just want to have greatness together so that together we can be even more great. Um, I, I realized as this summer progressed that, you know, I don't have to be Greg Merson at poker. And I don't have to be Jason Somerville or Jamie Staples at Twitch. You know, I can, I can just be Evan Jarvis at whatever it is that Evan Jarvis wants to do. Um, when I first got there, you know, I, I got kind of caught up in the buzz of like, oh, there's all these tournaments, we got to play, we got to get results because people judge you by your results. And I thought, oh, I was looking at the schedule, I'm like, oh shit, maybe, maybe there are some more events that I should throw in there that I should be playing. And I did some work with Elliot Rowe really amazing uh, hypnotherapist, who at the end of our session, he was like, you know, Evan, for, for you to be successful at your coaching and your training business, you don't need to be the very best player in the world. You know, you, you can be as good as you want to be, but don't let that, that pursuit of, you know, just putting it all towards winning um, force your business to fall at the wayside. Because... Uh, you know, my value is much greater than just winning some trophies. Uh, if all I wanted to do was win trophies, I wouldn't have start Grips Poker Training. I wouldn't have spent time making 500 videos for free. Uh, there's clearly a greater good behind all that. And um, reflecting on why I'm doing this in the first place, the whole Grips thing. Uh, why am I building it? Why am I bringing it to Las Vegas? Um, once I got out of that mode of like comparing and thinking I needed to play and I just took some quiet time to reflect and think on it, uh, it became very clear to me. Um, the reason that I'm working on the whole grips thing is to help people with changing gears and thereby extending careers. Because when we're young, we have all the energy in the world and we go, 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 go and grind, 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 grind and get all that information, get on that knowledge and get all that skill set. Uh, and we're able to do that because we have, you know, infinite reserves of energy. But, you know, as we get a little older and things slow down, we have to learn how to organize and plan and balance and manage our energy so that we can still use that great wealth of knowledge and use it most effectively when it comes time to um, perform. And the reason why I brought it to Vegas is because that's where people need it the most. At least that's what I thought. But after being in Vegas for a little while, I realized that, you know, although it may be what people need who are, you know, going through the World Series of Poker, in general, the vibe of Las Vegas, that's not what people are there to do. So, you know, it, it got me down a little bit at the beginning. I'm like, oh, like maybe this, this isn't wanted. This isn't needed down here. But it is very much needed. It just wasn't wanted at that time. And, you know, that's why I'm super happy to be back where it is very much valued at grips.com and on YouTube. Um, so, you know, like I was saying, when I first got there, I got I got caught up on poker. I was like, shit, you know, I got I got to play these events. All these other guys are going to play at the Rio. I should go be playing at the Rio. Um, there's there's all this stuff going on. Like, why wouldn't I be playing? Like, that's it's the World Series of Poker. 
right? It's, it's contagious. Uh, like I said in previous videos, you become what you're around. It's, it's very easy to get caught up because like, you know, that's the path of least resistance. Well, there's already a car going down to play. Why wouldn't you just hop in and go for a ride? And it required me talking with some other people who weren't poker players to get that perspective of, you know, like what's, what's really important. What's, what's my main purpose for being here in Las Vegas this summer, um, you know, to share and to enable and to enrich people's lives. Um, so I met with a few people from Iceland, shockingly enough. Uh, one guy was named uh, Brynjar. He's a, he's a cool, crazy, out there dude. Another guy was uh, Magnus, who was, you know, much, much firm, stronger, grounded in his approach to things, but both really awesome people. And these aren't poker players, these are business people. They're, they're people who, who also take a lot of their decisions very seriously and, and know how to progress and move forward and get what they want out of life. Um, and I learned a lot from them. Now, their product, the reason, the reason that I was talking to them in the first place is uh, they have a product called Javaro, which is a new heads-up display. It's a free heads-up display, which you can get at javaro.com, and it has a lot of capabilities already, and it's going to be able to do way more things than your poker tracker or your hold manager can do in the not-too-distant future. And I watched these guys develop their product over you know, the last year and just saw how quickly it grew, and then I was like, you know, how are you guys doing that? And it's, it was because they're focusing on the right things. They're not getting caught up in all the bullshit and the busyness. They know what the big picture is. They know what the key moves are, and they're making those moves. Part of why, you know, they were talking to me. I'm someone who can, you know, help with this. So it, it was cool to talk to people who are outside the poker space and see things differently. And in talking to them, I realized, you know, I got some, some reinforcement, some reassurance as to what I have to offer. Um, yeah, you know, I can teach you guys poker strategy, but my wealth of knowledge goes much deeper beyond that. And I have so much more to offer you than telling you how to, uh, what part of your range to continue within a three bet pot versus a check raise on a high card, low card, low card board. You know, like I can go so much deeper than that. Uh, and there are so many people who teach that stuff very well. So I realize kind of where, you know, like my niche is per se and where I can add the highest value and realize that moving forward, that's where I should be focusing on. And, and once, once I realized, you know, it's about giving techniques and healthy habits to help you get the most out of every session, I felt a lot better about myself. And suddenly I wasn't worried about having to go play every event because I got that clarity. I had that moment where I'm like, oh, right. It's not about doing that. It's about doing this. For me, it's about doing this. For other people and them, it's about doing that. But I've been doing that, and now I'm ready to evolve and do this. Also, pretty cool thing that happened from, uh, you know, being associated with these guys. I'm not a big TV buff myself, but I think this is a big deal. I met the director of Game of Thrones, the Icelandic director who manages the whole, like, Icelandic leg of the thing where a lot of things are shot. So that was pretty cool. Um, but to me, the coolest thing about talking with this guy and hanging out with this guy, um, you know, hearing, hearing his life story, but he recommended me a book that was right up my alley. It's called Presence is Power by a guy named Gudni Gunnarsson. And it was just so cool to get a book recommendation that wasn't about poker, that was specifically for me. And I just like looked at this guy and I'm like, wow, like you get me. You actually understand like what I'm really trying to work towards as opposed to just what I've been and being fixated on what I've been and who I was as opposed to who I am becoming. So I mean, that was, that was really cool and really heartwarming. And um, just nice to be talking to people who are like, yeah, what you're doing is great. You should do more of this. We want to help you get your message to more people. Uh, and on the topic of getting the message out to more people, I was, I was so happy uh, being down there that people from the media were reaching out, from the poker media were reaching out saying like, yo, Evan, um, we'd really like to do a piece with you. Would you be interested in doing a piece? And, you know, the old me would have been like, oh, you know, the start of the summer, oh, like, I don't know, like, I'm not having a great summer, so am I really someone to talk about this? And I'm like, then I like reflect. I'm like, I have done so much research on this, so much work on this, so much personal experience with this where I can speak from firsthand lessons and experience. Like, yes, of course I can talk about this. Yes, I want to talk about this. Yes, I want to share with this. And that's how you know I got a video on Poker News, article on Poker News, actually two. 
uh, piece on calvinair.com with Lee Davey. And I actually got to uh, do a little piece railing uh, the one drop final table, which was pretty cool. And then the media people were like, this is great. We're going to get it out to more people. And it was so nice to be like, wow, I don't have to do everything. I just need to do what I'm really good at. And other people who are good at what they do will, will use that to you know, get it out to more people. And it's, again, that whole idea of working as a team and finding, finding your spot within the team, what your strong suit is, and then really just, just dominating that area. So that as you become elite in that area of life or whatever it is, you get to work with other people who are elite in their areas, and together you can create something amazing and uh, create so much change. So, you know, I want, to, I want to give a lot of thanks to those people who supported me with that and, and helped push me in the right direction to encourage me to do this to ask, you know, remind me, why don't we do in this interview, and then just, just making it happen. So, you know, thank you to Lee Davey, Sarah Herring, um, my boy Mario, um, a man from Usual Poker, and were there any, uh, of course, Chad Holloway, awesome, awesome poker guy, and uh, Jonathan Little. Jonathan Little spreading the word, too. Um, so, yeah, like, the other thing that was cool was just, just meeting like I said in the first video, the intro to this, like meeting you guys and seeing what kind of people you have become from, you know, adding the, the lessons and the teachings to your day to day in addition to the other things that you do and just seeing kind of the quality of individual that someone who is who's really on Team Grips is compared to kind of the average individual who uh, visits Las Vegas. Or, or, you know, plays, plays an event at the World Series book, and there was just a huge, huge difference. And I've even noticed over the years, as I change what I teach and evolve what I teach, the evolution of the people, you know, like kind of the, the, the quality, or not even the quality, but where people are at and what they're able to do gets so much higher uh, every year and so much greater every year. So it really makes me think that I'm on the right track. And I got caught up for a while and then lost a sense of my self-worth because I was busy comparing myself to other people being like, oh, I'm not as good at poker as these guys. I'm not as good at streaming as these guys. Uh, I'm not as good at just like hanging out and having fun as a guy like Taylor Von Kriegenberg. But, you know, that's just part of it. I am great at, at what I do and I can still enjoy the other things that other people do and do them on a, a really good level, but not everything we do in life has to be at an expert level. In fact, if we tried to do everything at an expert level, we would run out of energy real fast because it's just too hard. Um, so what made it really awesome was that when I look back at the summer now and kind of what we did in Las Vegas, the whole team grips, I feel like I, I gave so much value to the people who wanted it. Uh, if all I did was play poker, I would have the results for myself, whatever happened, happened, but no one else really benefits from it. And by sharing it and making educational content, I feel like I'm able to impact and help a lot of other people's lives. And even like doing this review series, uh, it's, it's so great for me, but it's, it's so great for, for you two who are watching this. And uh, I thank you for watching this. Um, and now that the content is made, it's there forever to be accessed anytime. So while your career in playing is gonna go like this, when you're in the teaching business, it's, it's just straight up and up and up because you create something and you share it and then you learn more and you create something better and you share it and you just repeat, repeat, repeat. And it's not like that content goes away and it's not like that content gets any worse because as long as you're doing it for the right reasons and trying to improve yourself in the process, you are going to improve the quality of your product and your offering to, uh, to the world. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy that everyone can just benefit from it whenever they want. Um, also, by, by aligning myself with people who have these kind of pure intentions, these, these bigger picture views, um, we can spread the knowledge like so much farther and so much faster, and that's just wonderful. Another thing that's great about talking to these other you know, high-level people in their fields is that I get other perspectives. I can see you know, where I think could be done more effectively, more efficiently, where maybe I was doing it wrong, um, and I learn about other areas and grow too. Like, um, you know, Brynjar talked to me all about uh, what's happening in outer space and showed me these pictures of these amazing 
you know, I don't know what they were, like black holes, constellations, just, just things that are going on in outer space that I didn't even think about existing. He just kind of opened my mind to, you know, there's more to the world than what's going on in your personal bubble that you're doing, um, you know. Yeah. Also, it was awesome to realize, that, you know, I'm not the only one who's like this, who's out there wanting to help people. In, in the poker world, it's a lot of, you know, every man for himself. You got, you got a battle, you got a scrap, and you get, sometimes you can get to thinking that, like, people aren't out to help each other. Everyone in the world is just competing with each other, fighting over a limited number of resources, and that isn't the way that it has to be. That's the way a lot of people see it, but it's not the way that it has to be. And there are a lot of people who come from this abundance mentality that there is enough for everyone and that if we work together, uh, we're all just going to be fine. So it was nice to, to meet some of those people and knowing that I can find comfort in their company and feel supported in their company um, because, you know, they're at ease. Um, and as I grew away from, from purely being a poker player, which in my early 20s, that's what I was. All I did was play poker. And as I moved towards being, you know, coach, teacher, healer, motivator, you know, what, whatever you want to call it, uh, it's good to know that there are people that I can work with and people that I can, you know, you know, move towards. If I have to leave some people, there will, there will be other people there waiting on, you know, the next step of the journey. Um, so in terms of, like, what I learned, the key takeaway, well, I got, I got a clearer picture of my self-worth and I realized kind of the, the secret to self-worth, if you want to just have an accurate picture of where you're at, is just judge yourself by the right measures. Uh, realize, you know, what you're focusing on, trying to develop or grow in, and judge yourself by that criteria that fits that. Don't try to judge that by some other criteria, you know. Don't, ju don't judge your um, success in your uh, lifestyle habits with... Uh, the results you got in your last poker session because they aren't one and the same. Um, I also I learned where my value is best served and most well received which is why I'm so excited to be back at YouTube making videos kind of doing my favorite thing. I did experiment with some other things uh, in between like like Twitch which I realized is a very fun place to be but I also realized that the community there isn't like the one that we've already built here at grips.com. Um, this is home this is where it's at. This is where people are making the effort to improve themselves constantly, actually appreciating the content, not just you know trying to troll and trying to satisfy their own little bit of ADD that they got going on. Um, so that's why you know I'm, I'm happy to be here where my content is most well received, appreciated, and um, supported. So in terms of um, how you guys can um, help with this and, and, and just continue because Support and feedback is very important for sustained growth. Without getting feedback from anyone else, we're unlikely to have an accurate picture of what's going on, how we're actually appearing in the world, uh, because our own one will be skewed with things, things that we protect ourselves with and whatnot. So uh, it's important to get that feedback from other people. So um, if you guys want to let me know Either A, if there's anything that you think needs to be improved, let me know, tweet at me. Uh, but I more am interested in hearing about what your favorite part about being on Team Grips is or the biggest positive changes that you were able to make from using the information that came in, you know, Project Get Me Stack in and the life coaching series. Um, constant positive feedback builds self-esteem. And high levels of self-esteem lead to higher levels of motivation, and higher motivation leads to more videos and higher quality videos. So please get at me uh, at Gripsed Poker on Twitter. Uh, just get those messages coming. I'm going to be a little more active on there now that I'm not putting all my energies towards streaming or reading every damn poker book under the sun because I know I know enough about poker for now. I can focus on some other things and connecting with you guys and sharing what I've already learned is very much my priority right now. Um, I also have some really cool things planned with Javaro uh, and they have some, some cool things of their own planned as well. So these guys, you know, the Brignars, the Stefans, the Magnuses, these guys are visionaries like myself who they think outside the box. They think big picture. So definitely pick up a copy of their heads up display. You, you will thank me later, I promise you, and it's free. 
Uh, you can get it at javaro.com, that's J-I-V-A-R-O.com, or you can just click the link in the video description if you want to let them know that uh, you're on Team Gripston that Evan sent you. Um, so yeah, lots of cool stuff coming there, and I will keep you guys informed with the developments that happen with that product. And in terms of the development with myself, y'all just keep watching the videos and you'll be knowing what's good. So uh, thanks for all the comments so far on this series. They've been very supportive, uplifting. Uh, remind me why I started making videos in the first place. Uh, thanks to all the people who pushed and pulled me in the right directions this summer. Um, small thanks to the people who pulled me in the wrong direction just so I could learn from it, but uh, mostly thank you to the people who were keeping me on the right path. And uh, thank you for watching. All right, so uh, thumbs up for Team Grips. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.